guys, today I have a 04 Navigator that has a power door lock problem. Now the door lock actuators work just fine, but the command switch, you know, the door lock and unlock switch right here on the door panel does not work. Nothing. Unlock or lock. Now on the passenger side there, it does work. It doesn't work so well because I think the switch is worn but it does work. So we know all the actuators work and the module is awake and uh, has power. Now, the way this switch works is basically it sends ground out through two different circuits to the BCM or the vehicle security module, okay? So the ground is also used for illumination on here. So a real quick check on here is to turn the lights on and we can come down in here we see the lights are on there. You can see them flickering. That's the LED. So we know the ground is already coming to it uh, without even doing any diagnostics. So what we're going to do today is some live diagnostics on that. We're going to pull the door panel off and we're going to go through the wiring diagram real quick as we test a few different uh, things on here. And I'll show you just how easy it can be to diagnose one of these. Okay, so let's go through the wiring diagram real quick. It's actually quite simple. Now this is the passenger front and this is the driver's front uh, unlock and lock switch. Okay, so here's the switch itself. Here's our light emitting diode. And you can see we have power coming in once I turn the headlights on and we get our ground from the same ground that has provided these two poles of this switch. Now, if you press lock or unlock, you're gonna send a ground out through these individual circuits back to the vehicle security module. Now what's nice about this one in particular is that this is the module itself. Now if you don't wanna go ahead and test continuity from the switch to the module and go find it and find the pins, probably a 50 pin connector, what you can do is pull a door panel off. Very simple, right? And we're going to have VREF. You see right here we got VREF. We should have 5 volts coming from that module over to the switch. And right there we're going to know we have continuity back to the module. And same thing for this side right here. You can see it comes over and kind of splices into this one. Same thing, VREF. Okay, so we should have our, our um, voltage coming in. And then of course we already tested the ground because it's going to our light emitting diode. But for the heck of it, we'll go ahead and we'll load test the ground also to make sure that's fine. And then finally, what we're gonna do is take our ground and we're gonna jumper it ourselves to pin six here, back out and see what the module does. And same thing, we're gonna jumper it over here to, was it pin two right here? And we'll see what the module does when it gets that input. Right there, it's gonna test the um, source side, you know, the ground that we're sending out. And it's also gonna test the output side. At that point, if everything works, you try it over and over again, everything just works, circuit integrity is there, you simply replace the switch. So let's go over to the vehicle and try it out. Now on this particular year, there's a couple different fasteners holding the door panel on. We have uh, T20s right here. We have some seven mil bolts down here, okay? And then the side up here, there's a fill up. So it's a lot of different fasteners. But if you have something like this, a little impact, you can pull them out pretty quick. Some of these fasteners, you know, they're pretty long, they're long-winded, so we can get them out a little faster there. And after that, this door panel simply lifts up, like a lot of trucks do. So we'll get all those out, no big deal. And then we should be able to just lift up, and we can start getting the connectors off of there. So we can pull it off to the side here. Top part pops out, usually locks in up there, but the rest of it simply um, slides up. Now this right here, you should pull off too. Technically, um, trim panel right here. Let me be extra careful with it. I almost get it up by hand here. Just one of the alignment nubs on there, no big deal. Get that off, and then we'll be free. And then you just reach around the back side here and start pulling off connectors. And our 
a door lock one. Okay. You see, guys, it's not that hard working on these vehicles, uh, especially if you know what you're doing, you're used to them. They just kind of come apart. Um, so this one right here should be the door lock one. And we have the wiring diagram so we can check each one of these wires on here. Do a little jumper and see how they are. Now, what I can tell you is that on the navigators, for the mirrors and stuff like that, there's another harness that comes down through here and stuff like that. They're common to have water leaks on here. So what will happen is a lot of these connectors in here will corrode. So it's something to look into if you're having a lot of electrical issues in your doors on your uh, navigator especially. Okay, let's give you a better view of this right here. I'm gonna try to show you as I pin uh, this connector out on here. Now, pin four, which is the far left on the top here, is our ground that comes in to work. And what I'm gonna do at first is just simply use a set of jumpers like this, and they have special small pins on them that can go into these and I can uh, probe into them and use the actual feed in the way it's um, connecting to the switch without damaging them, without spreading the pins. So boom, I'm in there right now. Now I have the ground that is coming into the switch so it can work. Now it needs to send it back out through two of these circuits on here depending on if you want lock or unlock. So we're simply gonna jumper it at first here. Now for lock we need pin three, which is right next to it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and bump you there. Boom. The vehicle just locked. Now let's unlock the vehicle, which is pin seven, which is the only one in the second row there, okay? So pin seven, okay? So basically they're right above and they're above and below each other. So this is our ground to work. This one right here on top is our lock. I know you guys can't see it, but of course you can hear it. And then right here, seven, is our unlock. So like I said, once I find um, the circuit, I'll actually test it over and over again. You know, make sure that the module's responding, actuators are responding, and everything's okay. And it's diagnosed. Now, that just goes to show how easy it can be to diagnose one of these. What I did is I used the ground that's coming in that the switch is actually using, okay, as my source for ground. And we're going to take that and we're going to send it back out through the 7, pin 7, or pin 3 on here just like the switch would, depending if you want lock or unlock. So basically we were acting as that switch. Now at this point, there's no need at all to test the switch or anything else on here. We already verified it by acting like a switch with our jumpers. So right there, you know, five minutes or whatever, three minutes even if you're fast, have the diagrams in hand, diagnosed. We need a switch, so. Now let's say it's not that easy and there is no response once you jumper a ground to the lock and unlock circuit back to the vehicle security module. The next thing you wanna do, because we already know our ground is good to go, okay, we already tested that, is we want to um, test with a voltmeter those two same circuits. And we'll use our ground as our reference ground, okay, and we'll test you know, pin three and seven, the lock and unlock circuits. Now watch, this is gonna give us really good information knowing we have a connection back to the module. Okay, we're all connected up. Got my two little pins in here, okay? One of the circuits, either lock or unlock, I don't know. And we're simply gonna unlock the vehicle with a remote, okay? Now watch, right there. Wakes it up, we have 11.24 volts, which looks more like V power me than V ref. Tells you right there, we have a connection back to that module. Okay, so same thing. Let's go down to, what was it, pin seven down here. Same exact thing. Wake it up momentarily, boom. We got a connection back to the module, okay? And that's all you need to test. The, the two command lines back to the module 
and then your source. You gotta have that source ground to send out. Like I said, everything's ground switch nowadays. So there you have it. You can see uh, with a few simple tests, we can verify everything we need right from the door panel right here. E even though, let's say you don't even know where that vehicle security module is at. You already know everything's okay and it's just the switch. Okay, so I hope this helped. I know it's going to help someone somewhere. They're trying to figure their door locks out on their navigator and this is a darn good place to start.